Hi, I'm Brad Creer, tutoring high school chemistry. Today's topic is definitions of acids and bases. Our model of acids and bases has changed throughout the years, and teachers tend to want you to know every, all the definitions. Luckily, there are only three, and they're pretty similar, so let's go cover those now. Arrhenius was the first one to define acids and bases. He defined acids as substances that produce H plus ions in solution, and bases as substances that produce OH minus ions. Example of this one would be hydrochloric acid. Put that in water and it'll dissociate into H plus and Cl minus ions. Since it produced an H plus, it's considered an acid. An example for a base here would be potassium hydroxide. Put that in solution, it'll produce K plus and OH minus ions. Since it produced a hydroxide ion, it's considered a base. The Bronze and Lowry definition expanded on the definition of bases, where it kept acids mostly the same. He defined acids as proton donors and bases as proton acceptors. Proton donor means more or less the same thing as the Arrhenius definition, producing H+. An H plus ion is, if you think about it, just a proton, since H is a proton and electron, and H plus is just without the electron. An example of this would be um, nitric acid, which dissociates to produce H plus and NO3 minus. Since it produced H plus, a proton, it's considered an acid. HSO4 minus is considered a base by the bronsted lowry definition, but not by the Arrhenius definition. That's because, although it doesn't produce OH minus ions, it will accept a proton. If you put this with an H plus ion, a proton, it'll go to H2SO4. Because it accepted the proton, it's considered a base by this definition. The most recent definition is the Lewis definition of acid and bases. The Lewis definition defines acids as electron pair acceptors and bases as electron pair donors. You'll only ever see something defined as a Lewis acid or base if you see a reaction occurring. Over here we have H plus plus NH3. What happens is the two will react to produce NH4 plus. H plus is your Lewis acid and NH3 is your Lewis base. Why? Well, NH3 looks like this with an alone pair over here. When you bring in your H+, plus, it'll, the H+, plus will accept the electron pair, taking it away from the NH3, and NH3 will be giving it up, making NH3 the donor and the H+, plus the acceptor. To recap, Arrhenius acids produce H+, plus, Arrhenius bases produce OH-. Minus. That's the earliest definition. bronsted lowry acids produce H+, plus. bronsted lowry acids bases take H+. Plus. In Lewis acids and bases, you will only ever see them in a reaction. Acids will accept an electron pair in a covalent bond, and bases will give it up. That's all for now. Again, I'm Brian Preer. See you next time.